Hi guys, Photoshop Pro help here and today I'm going to be showing you how to effectively apply blusher to your portrait images. Now there's quite a few ways of doing so but I'm going to be showing you the two most simplest and effective ways of doing this. So as we can see we have a lovely portrait into Photoshop but we want to go and brighten her complexion up with a bit of blusher. So the very first technique is we're going to go and make a new blank layer. So bottom right hand side click the new blank layer icon and we're going to go and select our colour in the colour palette so left hand side. And I'm going to go for a dark pink for this, but you can go for any colour that you want. Click OK. We're going to go up to our brush tool, and we're going to go and select a very soft brush for this. And we're just going to go and paint on her cheeks. The reason why we're using a soft brush is because it blends in with her skin a bit better. And we want to just go around about there. We can bring the brush size down and just colour in like that. And all we're going to do from here is once we have done all of that and we have covered the cheek, we're going to go up to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. Now we want a strong blur for this because we want it to fade out so it's not too strong. So around about there for us. So nothing too bright for this. So around about 163, but you're going to have to play around with this because each image is totally different. Click OK. And all we're going to do from here, we're going to bring down the opacity, just so it's not too strong again. And because it's covering her eyes and it has spread out a bit too much, we're going to go and add a layer mask. So bottom right hand side, click the little camera icon. And it's changed to the foreground colour to being black. And we're going to bring up our brush and we're just going to go and take out the colour that we don't want. So we can take it off her eye and because it's gone over her cheek, we're just going to go and take that off. And we can go and shape the blusher to where we want it. So about there. And as we can see, that is quite nice. And if it is still too strong, we can bring the opacity down a bit more. And just to make it blend in a bit better. Now that is the very first technique. Now the second technique, I'm going to take that off. Make a new blank layer again. And we're going to go and paint on what we just did. So just paint on the same colour or a different colour like that bring the opacity down for the second cheek and this is an easier way we're going to go and change the blending option and we can just go through these and see which one works best for our image now I'm going to go for color for this one but I highly suggest that you go down the image and see which one works best so I'm going to go for color and it's quite bright vibrant for this so we're going to go and bring the opacity down a lot so something around about there and because we haven't really shaped the color we can go and add a layer mask to this again and we can just go bring up the brush size and then we can just take out the bits that we don't need and we can go and shape a blusher again like we did with the other one so that is two techniques and I'll just click it on and off that is the second one and here is the first one I suggest that the first one looks a lot better and a lot more clearer and a lot more effective. So you can give these two effects um, a go and see which one works best for you. So that's about it for this tutorial. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Go check out Facebook and Google+. And if you want to support me, there is some great t-shirts going. The link will be after this video, so go and check that out, guys. And I'll see you in the next tutorial, guys. Bye for now.